Good afternoon everyone. Today we're in the garage. Uh, fixing something by Echo PAS225. It's a power head thing there. Um, a viewer here, I don't know, about a week ago I guess, was asking about it and I happened to remember that the uh, choke levers broke off on that. So I ordered a choke lever off of Amazon. What did I do with that thing? Oh, there it is. A genuine Echo Park for nine whatever it was. I don't know what it was. Some eight between eight and ten dollars, something like that. And then since I have Amazon Prime, it was shipped to my house, free of shipping, two days. If I go to the Echo dealership, I will pay for this part uh, about fifteen dollars. And if I want it in two days, I'll have to probably pay another eight dollars in shipping. So I just order online and have the stuff shipped to my house, and it actually saves me money, and I can get it just the same amount of time or a little bit sooner. So uh, you know, when you're dealing with parts like this, this is just what I do. It's just uh, easier and convenient for me because I can order it at night when I remember, if I remember, and then I guess to ship to my house, and I don't have to go anywhere. So, also on this video, I also want to mention, uh, people are commenting, which people are always commenting, I don't give enough safety tips. Um, what, you know, wearing safety glasses, wearing respirators. I thought people were smart enough to figure that out on their own, but I guess uh, some of them aren't. So, uh, I'm still not going to be putting all the safety tips on there because uh, I think people are smarter than uh, the people that are leaving the comments. And I think they're just doing that just so they can get, try to get a reaction out of me, which they just did. Because uh, I'm just not going to put all that stuff in there because I am not going to remember to say it all. So uh, let's get started on this uh, project. And yes, wear safety glasses and I'm going to be using chemicals so you got to watch your eyes and yeah, you know the story. This is what happens. The choke lever breaks off on these Echo uh, trimmers, but this trimmer is six years old, so that's uh, pretty good. Guess I should give you the part number. Read all that. Yeah, I can't read it backwards in the camera, but uh, that's the part number for this Echo choke housing. So this is all full of uh, debris and whatever else you have on there because it is a two-stroke so you're gonna have a little bit of oil residue I guess from the exhaust and then uh, I am going to be using brake clean I just get it from CarQuest it's uh, whatever it is I don't know how what the price is I buy it by the case and I get a discount there so that's what I do so I'm gonna be spraying this carburetor off with this brake clean and below the carburetor is a catch pan to catch all the stuff so it's not on the floor Gloves, glasses to keep things out of my eyes, okay it's good enough it's got all the loose stuff off there because I'm just taking this part off so. Cover. That's not too bad. I'll have to clean that up too. And air filter is going to have to be cleaned up, which is not too bad for uh, working in the fall. And then this is just uh, two torque screws, and it's a what is it? It's a T27. I don't know if you can read any of that. I don't know if it showed up or not there. No gasket or nothing, it's just a plastic seal, and I'm just going to spray this off to get all that garbage out of there.
and then just the new one. Let's put the screws and everything back through. And I'll put this on a nut driver to make my life a little easier. Okay, and if you're using chemicals like uh, brake clean, make sure you're using this in a well ventilated area because it fumes are toxic and can cause uh, harm to your health. Since I will be using compressed air to blow this out, make sure and have uh, hearing protection on, which is 3M earplugs is what I use. They're part number 92800. Cheapest place I can find these is actually at Home Depot under $14 for an 80 pair. I go through about two pair or two bags of these a year. So the filter fits any direction. So I just put it on whatever I feel like. Make sure everything's lined up with the choke lever. Okay, this thing hasn't been started since uh, last fall, so uh, let's give her a start. Choke on, prime, power on, yeah, there's no gas in there. There we go. So and then uh, last fall I was using the hedge trimmers on that, trimming all the shrubs up, getting everything all cleaned up for the winter, or for the fall cleanups I should say. And uh, now it is spring so I'm going to take the hedge trimmer off, the hedge trimmer attachment off and put the broom attachment on, the pedal broom there. And that's the best thing about the PAS225 system is I can just keep changing all that stuff instead of having other pieces of equipment. Okay, this system is super simple to use. You just Loosen up the thumb screw there, little pin on the outside there, you just pull it open, set this aside. I have a dust cap I, that comes with everything and I always keep it on there just to keep uh, debris and everything out. Just turn the pin, get this somewhat lined up, and tighten everything up. Okay, I want to mention one thing. That broom is not recommended to go on this uh, PAAS 225 because you're supposed to have the PAS 250 or whatever the heck it is. I can't remember the number now. But that's what you're supposed to be using uh, on that paddle broom attachment. There we go. I couldn't spit that out to save my life there. So. Just wanted to let you know it does not recommend to go on there, and it says it will not fit on there. Um, it's been on there for three or four years, maybe something like that, and it does work. It may be underpowered, but uh, I don't know because I never put it on a bigger model, and it works fine for me. So uh, let's take this out in my yard and see if we can't uh, move some stuff around with it. I almost forgot to mention one thing. Since that is loud, two stroke, and I'm going to be working outside, I want to protect my hearing with these nice 3M earplugs. So uh, make sure they're put in, and let's go get started. Okay, I don't have a whole lot to clean up yet, but let's just do something here with it.
And it works really good once it warms up. Okay, so that's pretty much going to be the end of my video. Um, oh, there's one other thing. Uh, the gloves I use, they're Nitrolite, uh, what the heck are they, Raven. Part number 66518. Uh, I get them at uh, O'Reilly uh, Auto Parts there, just up a block a little bit. Um, they were cheaper there than they were on Amazon. I don't remember what they were, but uh, I just got them from there. So, uh, this video, there's a little bit of sarcasm in there. Uh, but, and, uh, you know, because it was a video that needed to be made because somebody wanted me to make another video similar, something similar to that. Because I made a video on uh, that door with a little bit of sarcasm in there and then talking about uh, what the haters are making comments and what's going on there. But I know I'm not supposed to feed into them, but... Uh, every now and then you got to make a video like that just to have some fun. So and that's what this video is about. Uh, learn something and maybe have a little bit of fun. Most of my channel is for your entertainment. Uh, whether you like me or hate me, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm making these videos for me and for my grandchildren to watch for the future there. Or I should say our grandchildren, Vicky and myself. So they have something to remember us by uh, when we're gone. Whether YouTube's going to be around after we're gone, I don't know. It doesn't matter. So anyhow, that's going to be the end of my video. Thank you for watching and subscribing. You can check out the links in the description box below. It would be greatly appreciated because uh, everything that we are using, I am trying to put a link in the description box for. So uh, everybody have a good evening, and we'll see you on the next one.